Yakulis company is a company that was founded in uh, 1980. Uh, it's a family company, it's founded by my father. We are currently own or operate 400 boats, which are uh, located around Greece, uh, Turkey, Croatia, Italy, south of France, Malta, and the Caribbean. Uh, the, the, the company is listed in the stock market since approximately 15 years ago. And we are participating in a chain of marinas in Greece as well, uh, which manages four marinas, uh, Zea Marina in, Pire in Piraeus, Corfu Marina uh, at Corfu, Lefkas Marina in Kalamata in Kalamata. Euromarine Company was founded in the year 1995 with the base in Pula, that was the first base for Euromarine. During the years we opened uh, new bases in uh, Biograd, Split and Dubrovnik. Uh, now today our biggest base is uh, located in ACI Marina Split with uh, more than 40 boats in that marina. Uh, also, we have uh, more than 20 years of experience in the industry. Also, among uh, charter business, we also handle the sales for uh, Jeannot brand, Jeannot and Prestige Motor Yacht. Orvas is company, founded in 1992, and it is part of Orbico Group, one of the largest international distribution network. We are specialized in luxury accommodation, such as hotels, luxury villas, with swimming pool, apartments and boats. Uh, regarding Yacht Charter, as Orvas Yachting as a brand, is specialized for sailing boats, motorboats and gullets. that we are proposing, we are suggesting to include in, uh, in a management, in a charter management system. Uh, they are from uh, the most famous uh, boat builders, like Bavaria, like uh, Jano, Beneteau, Dufour, and uh, the catamarans as well, which is a, a significant part of the market right now. We are offering boats from Lagoon, from Fontaine Pajot, from uh, Bavaria Nautitech, uh, from Bali catamarans as well. Uh, today the prices of boats, they range, it, de it depends on the model, of course, they range from uh, 100,000 euro up to 1,500,000. Uh, it depends uh, the budget of the customer that he would like to invest and the, and the, the own choice, I mean the own preference, what kind of boat he prefers. He prefers a catamaran or, or a monohull uh, and, and, the, and the, the, the specific brand, of course because some people they are preferring more the French boats than the German boats and the other way around. Our most successful model for charter management is the Sun Odyssey 449. It's equipped with uh, four cabins. Uh, uh, it's actually equipped with three cabins and one lateral cabin with uh, bug meds, so you can, it's easy to sell it as a three cabin boat as, and as a four cabin boat. Um, price of that boat with uh, charter equipment included and transportation to Croatia it's around uh, roughly 200,000 uh, euros excluding VAT. In our charter fleet the most profitable yacht model would be LM50 and the price for the new one would be approximately 220,000 euros. Regarding the most popular boats nowadays in the market and which are the most cost-effective cost boats for somebody to, to buy and to invest, it is nowadays the beginning of the big boats 
uh, the size of the monohulls like Bavaria 46, like Oceanis 45, like uh, uh, Sano DC 469. Uh, and in, in terms of catamarans like the uh, Lagoon 4, 450, like the Bavaria Nautitech uh, 46, these boats they are the most most cost effective. They produce the ratio of production is much higher than in bigger boats or in smaller boats. So this is definitely the size of boat that we are suggesting to to our customers. Regarding the way of buying a boat and putting in charter management, our company is offering three different programs to, to our investors, which some of them they are quite unique since the competition is not offering the same. So within these three different management possibilities, in the first possibility, the customer gets a fixed rate of 9% calculated over the value of the boat. On the second possibility, which he pays a partial payment, he receives nothing, of course, because uh, he has not paid the boat. And on the third possibility, we divide the charter revenues 30% for our company, for our uh, brokerage and uh, marketing expenses, and 70% is for the account of the owner. Charter management fee is divided in the 35% for the charter operator and 65% to the yacht owner from the achieved price. And ratio of revenue is between owner and the charter company 70%, 30%. First and most popular program is a program on which the investor, the buyer, he pays 100% the value of the boat. And then our company undertakes all kinds of expenses and all kinds of risk during the operation. The operation period is uh, rather classical for six seasons, five and a half years. And in, within this period, we pay to our investor a fixed revenue of 9% a year uh, over the value of the investment. So this is, in reality, pays back to the customer approximately 50% of the value of the boat. The second program, which is also very popular and still for five and a half years, the customer pays the partial value of the, bo of the boat, which is amounts to approximately 55%. It depends the model, it can be a little bit more, a little bit less. And then our company undertakes again all kinds of expenses and risks during this period. And the customer at the end of the management, at the end of the five and a half years period, he gets the boat fully paid, uh, in the good condition, everything working without any technical issue. The third way, which is a, the way that most of the companies they are offering in their customers, is the open management. In this case, the customer uh, he has to pay all the expenses of the boat and he has to get, of course, all the revenues, all kind of uh, charter contracts. They are, uh, they, they, they are paid to him and at the end of the season there is a calculation. Uh, expenses minus uh, revenues minus expenses and then there is a result to the owner which is flexible and depends to how, how well the boat uh, has been chartered out uh, and how, how, many, how many weeks it has, it has done and, of course, on the level of expenses. Yearly cost for the uh, Jeannot 449, it's roughly around 11,000 euros, which included yearly Baird insurance and other costs of maintenance, charter permits, and so on. Annual costs for owner, 
are approximately from 6,000 to 8,000 euros. Regarding the charter production, normally the customer can expect uh, about 20 to 25 bookings per year. Usually the bookings are uh, one week duration, so in reality we are talking about 20 to 25 weeks of chartering per, uh, per season. Roughly 449s achieves around 20 weeks per year. It's sometimes more than 20 weeks and sometimes a bit less. Medium price for that boat is around 3,000 uh, 3, euros. Expected, expected income of the Jeannot 449 is uh, around 25,000 euros to the owner, roughly. booking weeks of, for this model would be 22. Uh, starting price for uh, Elan 50 is 3,000 euros per week and the high season price is approximately 6,000 euros per week. So uh, we could say that approximate price would be um, 4,000 euros per week. With those prices uh, the annual revenue would be approximately from uh, 65,000 euros to 75,000 euros. So the revenue that the customer can expect from a boat, uh, it varies, it, it depends the program, as, we, as I, ex I explained to you before. Uh, on a Bavaria 46, for example, if we, if we choose a fixed revenue program, then the customer has to get approximately 25,000 euro per year net of every expenses that he can, uh, that he will get uh, every year. You have to be aware uh, that in this cost model uh, that lasts approximately six years, uh, every year the price of boat is decreasing. We could say that it's approximately 2%. For the first five to seven years, uh, we usually don't provide discount uh, on the charter weeks. After, after, let's say, two years, we usually give 10% early booking discount as a standard. When the boat is, uh, it gets older for, let's say, after seven to eight years, we usually increase that discount or we regula regulate the price by reducing the price. Usually, the price, when the boat is new, up to five years, usually we increase that price from 1% to 3% due to the general inflation. Regarding the, the production of the boat after several years of uh, chartering, uh, the truth is that the, the value of the chartering week is decreasing as much as the boat is getting older. Actually, we consider two ages which are really there is a drop down in the price about up to four years old it considering on the same price level between four and six years old there is a drop down in the price of approximately seven percent and after six years old we expect to have another drop down on the price of another seven percent
regarding the guaranteed charter program we are offering, where the customer pays in fully the boat and gets a fixed revenue or he pays a partial payment, uh, we are offering also a significant uh, good owner usage for the customer. He can, have the, he can use his own boat or any similar boat in our fleet in a different base between three weeks in the mid-season and six weeks in the low season, or a combination between the two. On top of that, he can have four weeks more additionally in a last minute use. It means the boat has to be available one week before departure. From these four weeks, two weeks has to be used exclusively on his own boat, but the other two weeks it can be used on any other boat of the fleet, in any other base, uh, so it is quite advantageous for the customer.